What's going on everyone? Landon with LayModelRestoration.com. Today I'm going to be taking a closer look at SVE 75mm throttle body and plenum from the 96-04 two-valve Mustang. SVE or Special Vehicle Equipment is your trusted source for everything 96-04 Mustang styling and performance parts. This SVE throttle body and plenum kit is a great way to bolt on more power and performance on your 96-04 Mustang GT. Both of these parts feature a 75mm opening to allow more air into your intake manifold, resulting in more horsepower and torque. With a satin finish, this throttle body and plenum will look great in just about any engine bay. Each kit will include a new gasket and all the attaching hardware needed for an effortless install. Before we begin the installation on the SVE 75mm throttle body and plenum, let's go ahead and get this O3 GT up on the dyno and see what it puts down in stock trim. The only performance modifications done to this car is a Bassani off-road midpipe, more of the catback, and a JLT Fenderwell cold air intake kit. For our baseline numbers, the car made 253 horsepower and 301 foot-pounds of torque. Now let's go ahead and show you how to install the SVE 75mm throttle body and plenum into this new Edge GT. To begin installation, remove the vacuum line that connects the IAC to the intake elbow. Remove the IAC and TPS electrical connections. Loosen the hose clamps that connect the intake elbow to the throttle body and pull back slightly on the elbow to free it from the throttle body. Then remove the second vacuum line connection on the intake elbow. Next, remove the fuel injection vacuum line from the EGR valve and factory intake plenum. While you're there, remove the PCV connection on the lower part of the factory plenum. Now, remove the five 8mm bolts. There will be three bolts located on the front of the plenum and two on the back. Remove the two 10mm bolts holding the throttle cable bracket to the plenum. Moving back to the EGR valve, remove the two 10mm bolts that hold the EGR valve to the plenum. Remove the throttle cable spring from the throttle body and bracket. Lift up on the plenum and remove the last connected vacuum hose. Then remove the throttle cables and remove the factory plenum from the car. Take this time to cover your intake manifold with masking tape or a rag. Remove the throttle position sensor with a Phillips head screwdriver and the idle air control motor with an 8mm socket. Be careful when transferring the IAC gasket since this can be reused. Position your IAC gasket and idle air control motor onto your new SVE plenum. Reuse the previously removed 8mm bolt to secure the IAC to the plenum. With the included vacuum line barbs, apply a small amount of blue thread locker. Carefully thread the two smaller barbs into their designated areas and tighten them down with an 11mm ratchet wrench. Now, thread the larger barb into its designated spot and tighten it down with a 17mm wrench. Position your throttle position sensor onto the new plenum and tighten it down with the previously removed Phillips head screws. Next, we decided to remove the 8mm factory throttle body bolts and use them to secure our new SVE throttle body to the plenum. Apply a small amount of blue thread locker, position one of the included gaskets, and tighten the bolts. There will be four included Allen head bolts in the box if you would like to use those. You will notice there is two throttle body to plenum gaskets. No worries, just use one and hold on to the other one if you ever need it in the future. Remove the tape or rag and reposition your new plenum and throttle body onto the intake manifold. Connect the rear vacuum line to the throttle body and then tighten the plenum to the intake manifold with the previously removed 8mm bolts. You can add the included plenum bracket or leave it off like we did. Reposition your EGR valve and tighten it back down to the new plenum. Reconnect all of your hoses, electrical connections and reposition the intake elbow onto the new 75mm throttle body. Double check everything and you're all done. Alright guys, we just finished up the install on our SVE throttle body and plenum. It took us about an hour to complete and went on without any issues whatsoever. So there's only one thing left to do. Let's turn the rollers and see what gains we can expect from this combo. Guys, not too shabby for a two-valve Mustang. She put down 259 horsepower and 305 foot-pounds of torque, which is good for an improvement of six horsepower and four foot-pounds of torque. Of course, you can further the drivability and performance of your Mustang by purchasing an SCT X4 tuner and SVE Custom Tune. If you would like to see more in-depth and helpful how-tos, subscribe to our YouTube channel by clicking the link below or in the video description if you haven't already done so. And don't forget to pick up your SVE 75mm throttle body and plenum from LateModelRestoration.com.